Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincere Bridget, and I'm back today with another video. As you guys can see, I'm out in the hallway today. I'm not in my room. One, because my roommate is asleep right now and I'm not trying to be mean and like start filming while she's asleep or whatever. But I am about to take you guys to come do my laundry with me. So we're going downstairs right now. I got my little laundry bag with me. If you watch my dorm hall, you know I got a bag or my like dorm tour, you know I have a bag for doing my laundry. So that's what we about to go do. Shouldn't nobody be in there, hopefully, cause it's very early in the morning. I don't usually do my laundry this early in the morning, but I am going home today. So I like to go home with all of my clothes washed. So I do it early in the morning. So yeah, I'll see y'all when we get in there. Y'all, this laundry room looks a mess right now. I'm about to show y'all. Look at this. Like, people in college just be leaving their stuff all over the place. And it, like, look at that. Ew. Like, they be leaving their stuff all over the place, expecting for other people to wash their stuff or whatever. Like, baby, y'all are not at home no more. <laughs> like, baby, y'all are not at home no more. Y'all need to start picking up after y'all stuff. And then they be wanting to blame people when they lose stuff. Like, y'all, y'all can't be like this. But I'm gonna start washing my clothes. I'm gonna have y'all wash me while I do it. So yeah. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to start doing my laundry. Rule number one, if you come, make sure that nobody else's stuff is in there because then you're gonna have a whole bunch of random stuff in your laundry and that's disgusting. So make sure nothing is in there. And we're just gonna go ahead and start putting stuff in right now. Cause then your clothes are not washed. <laughs> and I try to like stuff my pods in there in the back because sometimes I've seen that like when I put it in there, it ends up like in the outer ring of this little thing, meaning that it didn't really wash nothing, or it ends up in like something in there and it doesn't really end up washing my clothes, girl. So that's why I try to like stuff it in there in the back so it can stay in there and actually wash my clothes. So yeah. So sorry if it just got a little loud. Somebody just came in and put their stuff in the dryer. But we're just going to keep on going. So now you see I have my clothes in the washer. Next thing is to make sure you know what washer you're in so people don't play you. So I'm obviously in washer 9. We're going to get this started. I don't stay down here with my clothes normally so you put on eco normal so I can wash and I put it on the second rinse because there have been times where my Tide Pods and all that have not fully dissolved that's not cute so I put it on second rinse so that like everything can wash next thing that you want to do is get your timer together usually I put the timer on my phone but of course I'm recording on my phone and since it's gonna take 52 minutes I try to give myself a little bit of time to get down here so I'm gonna put it on 47 so I'm down here on time. And then I press start on this first so I don't forget it. And I push start on this. It's locked and then we're ready. Okay y'all, so now that my clothes are already in there and set, I'm gonna go back to my room probably work on some work and stuff and wait for this to be done and then I'll catch back up with y'all when I'm down to put my clothes in the dryer and what I do for that.
our dryers there every day. So there are more dryers than washes, of course, because you know, the drying clothes takes longer than washing. So I just put everything in there. I have my dryer sheets. Don't forget your dryer sheets because once your clothes smell good, not to be all nasty and stuff. So I just burn the whole box because I like cleaning a whole lot in my stuff. Don't forget your timer so that you don't have like your stuff in there for them long. I think it's kind of like 50 ish minutes. So I'm doing 50 because I'm actually about to go eat breakfast. So I'm doing 50 so I know that I have enough time to get over here and get my clothes again. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, y'all, so I know there's kind of some noise in the background. I'm watching TV right now. But now I'm in my room. I'm about to start folding. So I'm going to show you guys, like, what I do. I like to fold my clothes as soon as I take them out the dryer because I do not have an iron. I know people who do have an iron, but I don't. And I don't like to iron either. So I like to fold my clothes as soon as I get it out the dryer so I can get them while they're still crisp and they don't, like, get all wrinkled yet. So I'm going to show you guys how I fold real quick. So here's my desk. Y'all already know, y'all seen this if you see my dorm tour. What I do is I take my little Clorox wipes and I wipe this down just so that my, cause my clothes are clean. So of course I don't want like to fold clothes on something that's dirty. So I'm gonna wipe this down. I clear it off of everything. I'm gonna wipe it down. And then I move my little storage container back over here and I wipe that down as well. So I use this to fold and when I'm done folding, I stack everything up over here and then, you know, I put it in the dresser and all that. Y'all don't mind my room if it's dirty. Y'all know I live with a roommate. I can't clean so much about the room because I don't want to touch someone else's stuff. So yeah, but that's basically what I do. I'm pretty sure y'all already know how to fold, so I'm not going to get too much into that. I'm going to put y'all down real quick. So that's all I'm about to do right now is just finish folding and put my clothes up. So you guys have seen what I do for a laundry day. It takes about two and a half hours to do everything. It takes like 50 something minutes to dry like how y'all saw. It takes another 50 something minutes to wash like y'all saw. So put both those together as two hours and it takes me about like 30 minutes to fold since I do it like real quick right after. So about two and a half hours for a laundry day here. And that's about it. You know, I just like to get stuff done and out the way. So that's how I do my laundry in college. If you guys want to know any tips and tricks on how to do it quicker, on how not to get your stuff stolen, on how to just wash your clothes, because I know a lot of people came here and did not know how to wash their clothes, what to do. If you want any help on that, how to save money with washing your clothes, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know other videos you guys want to see from me about college, because that's just what I'm gonna be doing for you guys. And that's it. Like this video if you liked it. Share it with a friend, share it with your brother, sister, cousin, niece, daughter, son, whatever you gotta do. Send it to someone who you know who's in college who may be struggling with doing laundry or just wants to know how to do it. I think it's really cool 
like before you send your kid out to school or before you go to school make sure you ask your parents how to do laundry if you've never done it before so you know what to do when you get here so it's just not all over the place so yeah comment anything that you guys want to see down below like it share it with somebody make sure you subscribe to see more videos from me and hit the notification bell so that you are notified when a new video comes out and i love you guys and as you guys know i am sincerely jerry and i will see you in the new video bye Thank you.